everyone, I'm Lily. I'm eight. Today I'm going to read a story. The title of the story is The Golden Nest. Charlie was a blacksmith. He was making a horseshoe at his forge when someone pushed him hard. Smash! He fell into a trough of water. On Dinoha, he saw Captain Bartle, the biggest bully in the Empire. The Emperor's crown has, was stolen because I fell asleep on guard duty, Bartle said. Do you know who took it? I said. Tyan. A dragon, Bartle said. I woke up as it was flying away. Now you're going to track it down and get the crown back. Me? cried Ty. Why would I go find it? Because if you don't, I'll tell the Emperor you stole it, said Bartle. Ty knew Bartle could get rid of his thread, so he grabbed his trusty hammer and set out to find the Emperor's crown. After two days of hiking through the hills, Tom spotted a cave. It would glow yellow like sunlight. And that I found a pile of gold coins stacked from floor to ceiling. And the top of one pile, Tom spotted a red egg. Balance on the emperor's missing crown. As Tom watched, the egg fell from the crown. It began to roll through the mouth of the cave. A mighty green deal slammed down to stop the egg from rolling outside. Tai looked up, expecting to see a furious beast. And then she saw a sad looking dragon. Tai understood the dragon from. Dragon egg me golden next to her. Tai said, but your head keep rolling off the dragon. The dragon starts to cry. No, Peter, Santa said, I'm a blacksmith. <laughs> and I can help. All I need is some fire. The dragon snorted. Flames shot through the air began melting the gold coins. Bang! 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 Ty hammered the molten gold coins uh, into a sparkling ball. Ty put the egg into a golden ball and placed it in front of the dragon. There you go, Ty said. Now I need this back. He picked up the emperor's crown. The dragon smiled happily. Ty waved the light and started for home. When Ty arrived at the palace, Batu was waiting for him. Give me the crown, he demanded, right now. I'm the one who got it back, Ty said gently. I should give it to the emperor. The bully was ready to fight. The anger about the first turn turned to stare at the huge green dragon. Landed behind Ty with a thump. It roared about who the bully turned and ran away. Ty returned the emperor's crown. Everyone called him a hero and Batu never pick on Ty again. After all, who we was bully a dragon best friend? The end. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.